Okay, so this is our first tutorial looking at Autodesk Inventor, and this is, is simply going to get us started. It's the, the, the first thing so we can start literally drawing and sketching in, in Inventor. Uh, it opens up just much like anything else, just double click. It's a big file, sometimes it takes a long time to load up. Uh, it's not too bad on here. And this is this is what you'll see when you first load up. We can look at other options. We can have videos, recent files, but we we don't really want to get into that. So just just close that down. And if you go up to the top left here, you'll see uh, a new button. So we're going to create a new part file. So if you open this up, you look at a lot of uh, different options. We can create weldments, but but we, again, we're just after a basic standard part. So we click millimeters standard, click that, and down to the bottom right and we hit create and it will load up all the various options uh, and then you see this so this is our this is our 3d world that we're gonna that we're gonna operate in and it is it's basically a sketch based program so what we're going to do is we're going to create sketches in this 3d world so if you go up to the top left here click sketch so that will give you the various planes so these are the basic planes that, that we are we're able to sketch onto um, and before we do some sketching, I just want to tell you about zooming in and out. You zoom into the cursor. So often it's really easy, as I did at the start, to actually lose your part in the virtual world. So this is the button that will always get you out of trouble. Okay, the little magnifying glass, hit that, and it will bring you back in again. Okay, so just in case you start mucking about with it, because we can move everything around, do all sorts of crazy stuff, um, and you'll easily get lost. Okay, so just remember that button, it'll always get you back. So if we pick a uh, plane, We'll look at this plane, and now it probably turns into something a bit more like a bit more like AutoCAD. So we have our we have a basic drawing drawing tools at the top here, um, and off and off we go. So we can we can simply click click a circle if we want to click a circle, okay. And generally, I will try and keep the sketches as simple as possible. So in this case, we're literally going to draw a circle, and then we click top right to to finish that sketch. And when we do that. It takes us back into our three-dimensional world, okay? Um, and if you want to have a look around it, if you click on the little orbit button, that gives you a little orbit and you can spin around. We can't see a lot at the moment because it's just a circle, okay? And then click to one side and we get away from that, okay? So if we want to just try and make our first part, at the moment we've just got a two-dimensional sketch here, but we can now create a three-dimensional object. And if you look up here, these are the common ones you're going to use. We're, we're going to try just extrude here. Um, and because we've only got one sketch, it assumes that we're going to use that, that sketch. And what it's done now is basically we've extruded that circle 10 millimeters up. Okay? And we can change that if we want to. We can simply type in 20 millimeters and it will uh, preview it for us and give us a, a 20, millimeter, 20 millimeter shape. Okay? So there's various options we can do that. In this case, we're just going to click OK. Um, and that's it. That's our first part made. And now we get an idea of how it is in three dimensions. So we can actually orbit around this and we can pan, cross it, okay? And again, we can zoom in and we can zoom out and we can get lost and bring it back, okay? So this is your first one, first um, video, literally to help you make a shape. You can look at the box up here. And that'll, that's, uh, if you don't want to pan around, that will give you various options, okay? So that's our first part made. And uh, we'll look at what we can do with that part in later videos, okay?